I think I had a good career. I really did. Bob Knight spent decades climbing up and down these stairs. That all changed when at the age of 57, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. As the disease goes forward, you can't catch up with it. You know, you, you'll get to the point where you can, where you can say that, you know, um, when, it's him, when, when I was at the point when I was said, I really can't do this job anymore the way that I should be doing and somebody else should be taking it over for me. For almost 40 years, Bob served Manitobans as the Senior Executive Director of Labor Market Skills Division for the province. Today, he fights for families as a spokesperson and an awareness advocate for Alzheimer's disease. It's a tough job for a guy who's lost so much in the years since his diagnosis. In, in those three years, I lost my, my, my best friend. Um, two of my best friends now are both, both have cancer, one, and so, and I, brought, I lost my son, my, I'm not my son, my, my, my dad, and then two, two years later after that, I missed my mom. So I, I went from about, you know, having a, a, a you know, a, low, you know a, a big family, and then all of a sudden, that was hard to go. Worth a venture. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> the support group is really good. It gives us something to to hold on to. This support group is for people who have been recently diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease or another form of dementia. We usually have up, of, up to a maximum of 12 people in a group just to make sure it's the most comfortable environment for everyone. Yeah, it's got new friends that you can count on. Any of our family members, any of our friends could really get this, and these people are not unlike that. Some of them have had amazing careers, you know, they have a variety of distinct careers, and they're really wanting to find out that information, and together they really feel more comfortable talking about things. With my present disease, I, my vision is shot, so goodbye model railroad. Obviously, I never stumbled around like I have today in making a presentation. I mean, that was my forte, actually. I, I never <clears> used to <throat> wait for somebody to do my stuff. I, I always do my scenes and everything. I always cook for everybody, and now I have to wait for somebody to cook because I cannot. I almost set my, my son's house on fire because I, I cannot. It peels things off you. That's all you can say. You know, everybody, everybody has a sense of who they are and how they feel they are in, in their world and all that thing and around people around them. I love to sing and, and um, I can't do it anymore. I pick up the guitar and I don't know what to do with it anymore. I, you know, and, and, it, and, it, and it just breaks my heart and it breaks my son's heart and everybody. Because they, so you when, when you see these little pieces that they're really little pieces, but they're not little pieces. When your son sees it, your mom sees it, or where all of those kinds of things, it's that kind of thing. Stuff pulls off you, and you can't get them back. As Bob goes forward with the pieces he has left, he's still thinking about Manitobans. He wants to see a plan to cope with the inevitable increase in the number of Alzheimer's patients, and that plan should leave room for hope. People can get through sometimes through their diseases and come back from it if they have the right, the right things going for them. And so you shouldn't really throw people on the, on the, on the, on the, on the heap just because they're, they haven't got their best game every day.